Does it give you a little bit more of a boost of confidence knowing that you have a run game that's emerging with a guy like Devon A-Chain who can just move the ball as quickly as possible? Yeah, we got a bunch of studs. Uh, the O-line did a great job of blocking in the run game, and uh, A-Chain did a great job of you know finding the running holes. And then, of course, you, you don't know the status yet of Anaya Smith, but to lose a player like that, how does it affect your offense, and what do you expect from these younger guys? I think forward? all our guys prepare um, like they're the guy. Uh, nice is a big part of our, you know, our offense, and um, but I think you know the young guys stepped in and did a great job as well. We'll stay on the front row with Naomi, but can you please address each player that your questions for when you ask? Uh, Max, Naomi Brown from Dallas Morning News. Uh, my question for you is, how do you feel that your performance has improved from last week against Miami than you know today against Arkansas? Um, I just felt more comfortable, I guess. Uh, Coach Fisher did a great job of calling the game. Uh, he put me in great spots. O-line did a great job of you know, giving me time, and uh, our receiver did a good job of creating separation for me. We'll go front row on the right side to Olin, or we'll go second. Thank you. Uh, Max Olin Buchanan, TexasX.com. Uh, first of all, I wanted to ask you, uh, from your perspective, I know there's still a lot of game going uh, left, but what did uh, uh, Damani's touchdown do for y'all? I mean, it's – that was probably the you know the clutchest part of the game. Um, I think they were down the one yard line, and uh, I'm not sure who who knocked it out, but it was kind of cool that uh, you know Reek had the ball and gave it back to Demani, which was kind of cool. Um, but it was a great play by them and heads up play. And if you just talk about offensively, how how do you feel about the way y'all play? Because I know that I, I wonder if if there's uh, the excitement of winning is tempered some with some frustration at some plays that were there that. Yeah, I totally agree. I think uh, we're doing a good job of sustaining drives, but I think we need to go and, uh, you know, get points. Uh, we, I think we got it across the 50 a couple times where we didn't get any points, and uh, uh, that's just uh, our job of finishing. We'll go to the second row on the right to Travis, and then to Mark, the second row on the left. Hi, uh, uh, Max. Travis Brown with the Eagle. Uh, kind of a similar question. I know Coach said he asked you all to reflect kind of on, on this game moving forward. W what is it do you feel like that you all should reflect on moving uh, forward from, from this game? I mean, we just we just beat a top ten a top ten team. Our guys were excited. Uh, we celebrated the win, but uh, we know there's a lot left out there that we we know we'll come to work this next week. And then uh, Devon, uh, what what was it that uh, was opening up for you today, or, or that you were feeling today that that kind of uh, sprung you on this kind of game? Um, I say um, you know everybody just came to play today. You know offense and defense. You know the o line was blocking, making they making the right calls. You know it was loud in there, but we still was able to communicate with each other and make sure that we all was on the same page. So basically, it's us coming together. You know working as a team. We'll go second row on the left to Mark. Uh, Mark Passwaters with Rivals. Um, both of you gentlemen now have pretty significant experience in the SEC and in college football. But have you ever played in a game as crazy as this one? Um yeah, I have. Um, <laughs> What do you mean, like by the fans or like just the game itself? Just the 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 fumble return, uh, the the crazy uh, doink at the end of the game. Uh, you know, it just, it always seems like there's something in this matchup that makes it, you know, bizarre. Yeah, um, you know, it was good. It was a great game. You know, um, we all had, you know, a little few mistakes. You know, like you said, the. Uh, the hit off the field goal and the f when he phoned on the one yard line, you know, that's like some backyard football type stuff when somebody say, give it to me and you just give it to him. So, you know, that was just a great play, you know, just great IQ by the both of them. We'll stay second row on the right or on the left, excuse me. Tori Couch, right at College Football. Um, Devin, that first um, big run you broke off for 63 yards on y'all's first drive of the second quarter, what did you see and what kind of changed there um, from the first quarter when y'all? kind of struggle to move the ball on offense? Um, you know, the first quarter, you know, we had a lot of self-inflicted rooms. You know, um, basically, you know, when we was making big plays, you know, they was getting called back for penalties and stuff like that. So basically, you know, just fixing little things, you know, just fixing the little errors. And, you know, basically, we'd be able to move the ball. You know, we had – every time we got a big play, it was a flag. So you can't, you can't have that playing against a great team like they were. So basically, just going back to practice and fixing those things. We'll go front row on the right to Alex. Hey, I had a couple quick ones just for each of you. I uh, want to go back to the fumble. You guys were clearly not on the field on that play. But, you know, as you watched it unfold, did you, did you realize what was happening? And when did you realize it was happening? To be honest, I saw the fumble, but I didn't see where he, like, handed it back to him. And uh, so I kind of, like, paused, and we're getting ready to go out on offense, where I thought uh, Reed got down. And then, you know, I ended up running down the field and celebrating with uh, Damani, which is, you know, heads-up play by him. And, uh, you know, it's kind of cool. Um, you know, I seen it. So um, basically, you know, when he got the fumble, 
You know, he was running. I thought he was from the score. I thought he was from the outrunner dude or whatever. And then, um, you know, just basically when he was finna get tackled, I seen the money like, 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 like put his hands up saying, you know, like give me the ball or whatever. I didn't know he was going to give it to him because it was like he was getting tackled. <laughs> But you know, like I said, that just that's just something that they did. You know, that's a great play by the both of them. That's just a great hockey play, and you know, it changed the game. Yeah, and then you know, you guys weren't on the field for this one too. But you know, what what was going through your mind when when they were kicking that last field goal and when it hit off the upright? Uh, you know, we always believe in our special teams. They they changed the game last week as well, and I think just. Um, Last week they ended up, you know, blocking the field goal, and this week I think they got pressure, and you know he ended up missing the kick. So shout out to those guys that worked their butts off, and shout out to the coaches. We'll stay on the right side, third row. Hey Devon, um, after the way the game started, you guys are down 14-0 real quick, and then to see that fumble play happen, uh, what did that do for you at the half? Because uh, you could have been dead and gone, but you're back in the game all of a sudden. Um, you know, it's a big, big momentum change. You know, um, for this for our offense, you know, um, that was a great play by the defense. You know, um, I believe in our defense. You know, they believe in us. And then for them for, to go and put up some points on the board, you know, helped us a lot, you know, because we was down 14-0. They scored that, that's like 21-0. That's put us in even more hole than we already was. So basically, that's just a great play by them. We'll go back behind the lights to TV Row to Ben and then Daryl. Ben Peck, KX. Uh, Devon, just before that big play, I'm sure being the kind of you know player you are for this offense, wanting to make a big play and make your mark on this game, but kind of having to wait for that opportunity. Just what's that process like, sort of you know, wanting to be, I'm going to be the guy to make the big play to boost this team, but also you know, being able to pick your spot? Um, <clears throat> um, like Coach say, um, don't always expect a big play. You know, I don't come in the game saying, okay, every time I get the ball, I'm going to make a big play. You know, that's, that's, that's not, you know. So basically, I just take what they give me, and you know, the big plays will come sooner or later. And you know, um, like I said, the O line, they made great blocks. You know, that's when when it, when this play was made, you know, uh, when it was needed to be made, or whenever they block well, and I just made them. They made make my job easier. So, um, hats off to the O line. And then Max, uh, twofold question on the the pass to Evan. Uh, I guess first is is that sort of part of the play execution to say, you know, he's run that corner route, but potentially I might just, you know, float it for you and you come back to get it. And then as kind of a side to that, could you just speak to sort of the trust you're able to build with this guy that, you know, playing in your first game with him uh, just sort of obviously came together pretty well. You, are, you t you, are you talking about the touchdown? The touchdown to Evan. Yes. Yeah, just kind so, of lost <clears throat> Yeah, so they ended up bringing a zero blitz and uh, we were an empty. They, they, they brought one, one more than we can handle. And uh, the guy had inside leverage on Evan. And it was a fade route, and I was just giving him a chance. And uh, you know, I was, my ball was a little short. I definitely should have put a little bit more on it. But um, having en ended up make, uh, coming back and making a great play. We'll stay behind the lights to Daryl on the left side. I've got to move a camera and write, so it's going to take me a while to do that. So you guys, I got questions for both of you, Max and Devon. Same question. Just what's it like to be able to work off? Oh, Daryl Bruffett from KBTX. Sorry. What's it like to work off of a? win over Miami, a win over Arkansas as you get ready for Mississippi State, and you know just being able to have that good feeling but know that there's a lot of work that needs to be done. Yeah, there definitely is a lot of work to be done, but uh, you know we're all super happy that we came out with this win. Um, I think it was two, two wins over uh, top 15 teams, and uh, I think we came together as a team, offense and defense. They, we weren't separate. We, 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 uh, we played together as a family. Uh, we'll go, sorry, uh, fourth row on the right to the battalion. Could Devon answer that too, please? Um, basically, you know, as, like you said, we played two top 15 teams back to back. You know, it just, at the Appalachian State, it just showed us that, you know, that we got a lot of heart in this team, you know, that we're a great team. And, you know, we didn't let that loss, you know, take us down. You know, we kept building, you know, we kept coming together and, you know, just basically making sure that we all on the same page. And, um, you know, we came out today and we played a great team and we knew it was going to be a hard fought game and you know, we came to play. We'll go to the right side, fourth row. Joined up with the battalion. Max, last week after the game, you mentioned that there were some shot plays that you could have taken that you didn't. Today, there were a few more of those. Is that something that we can expect going forward? And what was the difference today versus last week? Um, I think it's just understanding what's called. I think whatever Coach Fisher wants, I think we have to execute that at a higher level. Um, he made some great calls, and there's some things that we missed that uh, we're definitely going to work on this next week. But, um, you know, we're just going to take what the defense gives us. <clears throat> if the shot players are there, we'll throw them. If they're not, we'll check them down. And if, if, we, have to, if, we, or if we have to run the ball, we will as well. <clears throat> we'll go front row on the left to Cole and then Naomi. Uh, Devon, not to bring up the pass. I know that you guys like moving forward. But knowing where you are now with two top 15 wins, was losing to a team like Appalachian State the wake-up call that maybe this offense and this team needed as a whole? 
Um, yes, most definitely. You know, um, it, you know, it, bro, it it showed us, and like I said in the last interview, um, it, we I just just gotta see if we want to play football or not. And obviously, you see that that um, we came out here, and you know, um, we could have when we was down fourteen zero. You know, we could have like lost it or like went on like damn, we out of this game. And, you know, we went into um the second half fourteen thirteen. You know, we just came out second half. You know, we knew it was gonna be a, a hard fought game to the end. So um, I'm, I love this team, and you know, we got a lot in us. Like I said, we got to fix the little mistakes and you know, just come back next week and be better. We'll go to Naomi on the left side and then wrap it up with Travis on the right. Hey, Devon. Naomi Brown from Dallas Morning News. So getting like you know your season high in rushing yards today in your first SEC matchup um, of the season, how does that kind of affect your mentality going forward into conference play, and how do you think that's going to affect your play overall? Um, basically just you know just keep, keep getting better every week. You know, um, like I said, um, the O line they working, they working every day. Yeah, practice. You know, it, you, it, it's, it, you can see. You know, um, each week we getting better and better and better. And so basically, just you know, um, getting ready for um, Mississippi State and just see what we we bring at practice. You know, practice determines how we play in the game. Like, um, you know, last week we started off great. You know, um, Thursday and you know, we was a little you know slow. So that's how we came out in the game. So basically, just fixing the thing that practice and practice is the hardest thing anyway. So you you practice hard and it makes the game easy. We'll wrap it up with Travis on the right. Hey, Max, uh, early in the game, I know there were some uh, penalties taken because of, seemed like some pre-snap confusion, uh, delay game, and a motion penalty because of that. Coach had to call timeout. Is there a common thread between some of those and getting the play in and, and getting the snap off that, that y'all can fix moving forward? I, I think we just got to start faster, honestly. I think, um, you know, when we come out on the field from a, a timeout or, you know, the defense got off the field, I think we need to... Um, you know, focus on the details, get lined up quicker, and um, I think I, just, I need to do a better job of um, just, you know, getting everyone lined up and, you know, getting the play call in and uh, uh, calling the mic out or, you know, snapping the ball as well. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you.